Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is the third video in the series about the young lady that fell victim to a cryptocurrency scammer. In this video, I'm going to look at how you can invest legitimately in cryptocurrency. I'm not an expert and I'm very definitely not a financial advisor. So please don't take anything that I say in this video as financial advice. If you do decide that you want to get involved with cryptocurrency investment, do your homework, talk to people that know about cryptocurrency investments, and better still, consult a qualified financial advisor. And whatever you do, don't take advice from somebody who's promoting themselves on Instagram or any other social media app and shows you a table claiming vast returns on your money. That is never going to happen. It's my understanding that there are three basic ways of investing in cryptocurrency. And mostly we'll look at Bitcoin, but there are hundreds of different cryptocurrencies. Firstly, you can buy the cryptocurrency. You can just buy Bitcoin and then hope that the value goes up. Sometimes it does and sometimes it goes down. This is what Google tells me the value of Bitcoin has done in the last 12 months. If you bought at its lowest point, when looking at that graph, it was about £22,000 for a Bitcoin. At today's price, you'd be making about 50% return on your investment. But if you bought six months ago, when a Bitcoin was worth nearly £50,000, you'd currently be making about a 40% loss on your investment. The second way is to trade Bitcoin in the same way that people do Forex trading. In the UK, I think that might be regarded as a form of gambling. I'm not quite certain. But it involves predicting whether the value of Bitcoin will rise or fall against the value of another currency. And the third way is to do Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is what a lot of these fake cryptocurrency investments claim to be investing your money in. And I'll try and explain that to you in simple terms as well. And when I say simple terms, that's because I don't really understand the in-depth explanation myself. And I've been involved with computers for many years. What I'm going to tell you is a very simplified version of Bitcoin mining. And if I get it wrong, please tell me in the comments so that I can amend the video. As I understand it, only 21 million Bitcoin will ever be issued. And I believe the first Bitcoin were issued in 2009. Rather than just issuing all 21 million Bitcoin at once, new Bitcoins are released every 10 minutes. Approximately every four years, what I believe is known as Bitcoin halving occurs. So the number of Bitcoin issued every 10 minutes, which is currently, I think, 6.25 halves. So a couple of years ago, the number of new Bitcoin being issued every 10 minutes was 11.5. The process by which these new Bitcoin are released onto the market is called Bitcoin mining. This is done using a type of computer known as a miner. When Bitcoin first started, you could own your own mining machine. In fact, you still can. And originally, there weren't very many of them. So your chances of actually scoring an allocation of Bitcoin were high. Now there are millions and millions of mining machines around the world. Some of them are kept in vast underground vaults in places like Iceland because the amount of heat that they give off is just so vast that some of these vaults could literally power a small city. So these days, rather than having an individual mining machine in your basement, people buy into these vast consortia. As I understand it, these mining machines are all constantly trying to solve an increasingly complicated problem. The machine that solves the problem wins the allocation of Bitcoin for that 10 minutes. Obviously, the more machines you have, the more likely you are to win the 10 minute allocation of Bitcoin. Hence the vast vaults containing thousands of machines. If you decide to invest in Bitcoin mining, you'll usually be buying a package with one of these companies that has a large number of Bitcoin mining machines. There are several genuine Bitcoin mining investment companies. I'm not going to tell you any of them. You really do need to do your own homework if you decide to invest in Bitcoin mining. 
The more machines one of these companies has, the more consistently they will win the 10 minute allocation. So if you've bought into a large enough consortium, your allocation of Bitcoin should be fairly consistent. And there are tables online where you can see the predicted return for investing in Bitcoin mining. This screenshot was taken from what I believe might be a genuine Bitcoin mining company. I set it for an investment of $1,000. Notice two things. One, I was asked to choose the duration of my contract. I set it for 24 months. And then notice on the right hand side where it says 6.39 terahash per second. That 6.39 terahash per second is the amount of computing power that you are buying for your money. How much return on your investment you get depends on what the value of Bitcoin does. You've already seen in a previous graph what the value of Bitcoin has done over the last 12 months. And I'll now show you what return you would be getting on your money with the current value of Bitcoin. And here is a Bitcoin mining calculator. I've entered the 6.39 terahash per second that was shown as my allocation in the previous screenshot were I to invest $1,000. There are various costs that I can enter. I've left them at their default values. What I didn't show you in the previous screenshot was that underneath it said in the small print that service fees were not included in the predicted returns. I think you can see from this screenshot that with the current value of Bitcoin, investing $1,000 would lose you $1,000 per year. You might not lose more than the value of your investment. You'd need to read the small print, by which I mean that the company may not turn around and demand more money from you, but you certainly aren't going to be receiving any income unless the value of Bitcoin doubles. If you decide to invest in cryptocurrency, please do your homework before investing. Research the three ways that I've told you about. Research for yourself whether you think it's worth investing. Consult a qualified financial advisor and never listen to anyone that contacts you randomly on Instagram or any other social media app. There is no such thing as a get-rich-quick scheme. Whether it be in the field of investing in cryptocurrency, investing in shares, working online or any other field, they just don't exist. I know, I've been working online for over 20 years. It's work, just the same as if you were going out to work. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.